Are they playing the launch video? This is the launch video playing now. Dr. Shreeglish will start the surgery in a short while. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, Sri Ganesh, you are yeah. audible. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Yeah. And uh, so now we are going to go ahead with the surgery. And we have done the femto laser uh, on the LENCR system. The LENCR system is uh, what I routinely use for my femto cataracts. The advantages are you can have the laser in your ward. You don't need a separate room and uh, also it has a direct connection with the pentacam so it does the um, incisions depending upon the astig corneal astigmatism it also calculates your toric axis for placement and makes the nubs in the capsulotomy known as the intelli axis so now this is a 57 year old female uh, with like a grade, softer cataract, it's like a grade 2 cataract. So you can see that the capsulotomy and the nucleotomy four quadrant has been done with the lens here. In this patient, I'm going to implant a Femtis MF lens, which is the super premium lens. It is a trifocal, but it is not a diffractive trifocal. It is a segmental zonal trifocal which gives good distance intermediate and near vision but it can be used only with the femto cataract you need a 4.8 mm exact rexis for this and so we have made a 4.8 mm rexis i am going ahead with the surgery i make my side port and this is a 2.8 mm incision light and octari male nodi So this is, patient has about 2.25 adapters of astigmatism. So this is a toric lens which you are going to implant. It is a 19 diopter uh, Femtis MF with uh, a T3 model which corrects 3 diopters of sill at the IOL plane. This is the hydro dissection. Light nodi. Okay. Now I'm just using viscoat and injecting viscoat into the nucleus there. So it splits the nucleus. I call this the visco chop technique, where then you get two halves and you can even get four quadrants because of the hydraulic pressure the you just place the instrument uh, cannula in the groove nucleotomy grooves and just inject visco i am using the quatera 700 with the new tip and i am at 700 vacuum and 90 flow 6, 650 vacuum and it's got a quadro pump so you can see that with the visco chop i don't need a second instrument doctor which is the the advance of the new tip this is like a grade 2 cataract So this is the I'm just flipping the epinucleus now and you can see that the chamber is very stable and the followability is excellent with the quatera and we have evacuated the cataract. This is a single handed technique with a visco chop. 
these are younger patients who need good vision for distance intermediate tenure and who also want to drive at night so this is when a lens like the femtis mf is ideal because you can give them they ask for the moon and you can give them the moon otherwise with regular trifocus they have dysphotopsias and this is a capsulotomy fixated lens so you're going to fix it to the capsule so it's more anterior and it does not cause any negative dysphotopsia that's the subincisional cortex which is cleared because i have a high flow rate and the chamber is stable it's very easy to remove the subincisional cortex so i am hydro polishing the posterior capsule and the fornix this reduces by incidence of pco i do that routinely then i'm going to do a hydro implantation i just form the chamber with bss and this is the lens now so the lens comes in uh, saline and then you need to so this is the lens you pick up the lens and what is very important is the orientation so you can see this is the lens you can see that there it's not a diffractive lens salina ko lens pehle okay and you can it got forceps so you can see that it has got four flanges this is one flange these are the two side flanges and the other. so it's got four flanges to enclavate the lens into the capsular bag and the orientation again is such that you need to see that the leading left hand side there is no there are four notches here but here you can see that this notch does not have the overlap so this is this has to come on the left leading side so it has to be oriented like this this is very important to get the orientation right okay you can see that now it's oriented correctly and i'm loading the lens okay so load the lens and the lens comes into the front of the cartridge there bs is good now we'll so you can see the interlay axis nubs there very clearly i'll put it in retro illumination so it's clearer can you see this this is the axis of placement of the lens of the toric lens so this is a toric trifocal segmental trifocal so i am going to inject under bss now light and ortari because once you enclavate then it becomes difficult to clear the visco from the bag so if by injecting it under bss then there is no visco underneath the lens so now i can put visco over the lens okay i just put visco over the lens you can see the orientation it is oriented well at the nubs okay so now i have to put this haptic in the bag which i do okay so yeah there it goes then orient it correctly so that the it's on axis and then after that i have to enclavate it before i enclavate it i put more visco elastic so there's, there's no visco on the posterior underneath the lens so now it's oriented well i go i hold with the sinski and then do the enclavation see it's enclavated there exactly then i have to enclavate this part again it's enclavated sometimes it may capture the iris there if you especially if you have a smaller pupil you can just push it down slightly then you can see that i have done two enclavations then enclavation of the side there okay that is also enclavated now okay 
So now you, 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 you can't see the rexes. So it's completely enclavated on four sides. Callisto hockey. So it's along the nubs. I put the callisto also so you can see that it's perfectly on axis. So this lens will not rotate. Even when you do IA and all that, it's not going to rotate. So now I just have to evacuate the uh, visco from the anterior chamber. So I just, uh, there is nothing in the, under the lens, there is no visco under the lens. So once you remove all the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber, you can see that the lens does not rotate at all. Even with a high flow rate, I have a high flow rate of 90. What is the uh, diameter of the optic, Dr. Sri Ganesh? Optic is uh, around 5 millimeters. It's a smaller optic because you have to enclave it. So that's why you need a 4.8 mm rexis. Okay. So I've evacuated the viscoelastic. You can see the lens is extremely stable, doesn't move at all. And this is this is the first implantation in life surgery of a Femtis MF uh, in India. And uh, I have been using this lens now recently and patient satisfaction is excellent. You can see that now the chamber is formed. Light can set up more light. I will put on the OCT just to show you the position of the light node, more light node. You can see the, can you see the enclavation there of, in the capsulotomy? You can see the lens and the enclavation in the capsulotomy. Is it clear? Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. And it is. then I will also focus on the posterior aspect. You can see that's the lens. The posterior capsule is slightly offset. Sure. But there is no visco there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Shri, uh, you mentioned one of the advantages of capsular fixed lenses, which is reduction in negative dysphotopsia. Yes. Uh, the other potential use of capsule fixation would be that you'd be able to control the centration of the lens. Yes, the, the, the centration and tilt is um, actually by centering your, even in cases of large angle alpha, where you can't use a multifocal, when you use a femto, uh, femtosecond laser, you can center on the visual axis. And when you enclave it, then it is, uh, the center of the lens is on the center of the visual axis. That is one of the advantages and then there is no tilt and decentration because it is enclavated in the uh, anterior capsule. There was a study by the David Dappel lab, uh, Gerd Arafat and he has shown that there is minimal tilt and de uh, decentration as compared to the regular IOS. Also rotational stability is twice that of the regular toric IOS in his study. And uh, so far we have impl implanted about uh, 10 lenses and these patients are doing very well distance, intermediate, near, I presented the results yesterday and none of them have dysphotopsia, either positive or negative dysphotopsia. We asked them leading uh, questions. We actually also shine a light, ask them if they are seeing halos because we are very curious. But since there is no diffractive optic here, there are no halos. Uh, so somehow this is a super premium lens, uh, which uh, I think patient satisfaction is excellent. It's much more expensive also. But then, like I said, you can promise the moon and give them the moon. So, that is the Femtis MF uh, first implantation in India in life surgery, which has gone on very well. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. So, if there are any questions, we can take the questions while we get the next patient ready. There is some uh, cases with opacification in the posterior capsule. Uh, we have just started using the lens, but uh, it uh, it has a 360 degree square square edge. So with the shrink wrap effect, the the posterior capsule moves up. So we don't expect a higher rate of PCO, but we'll have, have we'll have to see uh, how the lens behaves over the next couple of years. But again, if there is PCO, you can yag it, but. It's not a very big issue. 
but the advantages are rotational stability, stability, uh, reduced tilt and decentration and then the effective lens position is very predictable. So you have a good refractive result. So the comfort is 1.5 diopter add-on? Yeah, the comfort is more like an EDOF which yeah. gives you intermediate vision and uh, distance vision but the M plus gives you distance intermediate and near. And near, that's a 3 diopter add-on. Yeah, 3 diopter add-on it. Yes, there have been reports of some of the 3 diopter ads. Uh, patients getting uh, significant dysphotopsia of the transition zone ends up on the visual axis and then you've got, you got to rotate that lens to get rid of that. Have you had any experience with that? So in the 10 lenses we have done, we have not had any issue uh, and we don't really rotate because the torix you can't rotate the lens. No. So once you have placed it on axis then you can't rotate the lens. Uh, but we have not, we have used all MF Torix so far and we have not had any issue uh, with this. Probably because the Indian pupils are smaller also and the central zone is for distance. Any other questions? Thank you, Shri. Thank you. Surgery again. Thank you. And uh, I think next, of course, the advantages are there, but then it's much more expensive for the patient because you need to use the femto. The lens is more expensive and of course you need a little more dexterity to enclavate the flanges in the capsule.